All right, pregame thoughts, Padres and the Seattle Mariners. Series finale today. George Kirby on the mound for the Mariners, and then the Padres, they're going with Michael Waka. Day off tomorrow, so almost everyone should be available out of the bullpen. Probably not Steven Wilson. I think he's pitched back-to-back -back days. Maybe not Brent Honeywell because I know he was fine. He came up fine, but he did kind of roll his ankle, it looked like, on the mound on that landing foot last night, so we'll see with him. And hopefully Josh Hader can get in this this freaking game. I mean, he's feels like he hasn't pitched in forever because the Padres haven't had that lead in forever. And when, when they do have a lead, he's not pitching because it's like a five-run lead because it's a roller coaster. It's not like it's close wins. They can't do that. They have the worst record in baseball in one-run games. Uh, they're not hitting with runners in scoring position. So we'll see if Josh gets in the game today. Maybe he gets in the game if it's not even a save situation just to get him in the game because it has been a while since he has last had any meaningful work in a game situation. Uh, yeah, but runners in scoring position, that's obviously going to be the thing. Again, like it will be the rest of the season, and if they continue to be inconsistent in that department, they went 0 for last night with runners in scoring position. They're hitting under 200 this year with runners in scoring position. Uh, again, no Xander Bogarts, but that should not matter. Like, they should be able to get a hit with runners in scoring position. Uh, I'm not saying Bogarts, like, doesn't matter himself. I'm just saying, like, they have enough talent on this team, or at least they should have enough talent on this team on paper to be able to come through with runners in scoring position. And they haven't been able to do that, obviously, consistent, consistently so far this year. Bogarts, I mean, why is he not on the IL yet? I get it. Bob Melvin doesn't want to put him on there. Bogarts doesn't want to be on the IL. Bo Mel probably doesn't want to put him on the IL because he could come back on that eighth day or that seventh day or that ninth day before the 10 days is up. So maybe in their eyes, oh, it's worth it. But he's not right. If he comes back, is he going to be, he's going to be, he's going to be feeling 100% and we're going to see the Bogarts that we saw at the beginning of the season. I'm not convinced of that. So put him on the IL this offense just needs to be better as a whole. It's not just a Xander Bogart's issue here. They need to be better as a whole. Let's have a guy that can actually go swing the bat uh, on the bench, be available. Bring up Jose Iglesias, whoever. Just have another guy on the bench available um, because Bogart's, he's not doing anything. He's not playing. Like, I'm fine with him, you know, being ready to go and still having to sit out for a couple more days. I don't think that's the end of the world. I'm, I'm looking at this long-term with Bogarts. Like, don't rush him back. So I, I just don't get that. Grish is back, though, so that's good news. I guess he doesn't have his mustache, so we'll see how he performs with that. Uh, you know, no mustache. Are we going to see a new Trent Grisham, a better Trent Grisham? Because kind of seems like last year, right? The numbers, the offensive numbers, struggling. That's just the way it is. So Tatis, is he, he is in right with Grish in center. And with Waka, underdog fantasy pick for me today. I mean, I saw the five strikeout number, and I was like, yeah, higher. Uh, I did not as quickly think higher as I did with Joe Musgrove in the pitch count last night. It was like 91 and a half from underdog. That was an easy hire for me. Uh, this one, I thought about it a little bit, but this one I'm going higher. Five seems low, um, and, and Waka coming off a great month of May. So we'll see how he does today. Um, bullpen, it's in good shape. It's Again, it's, it's about the offense. Same old story, it's about the offense. And if they lose both games here, then that means that their homestand against the Cubs for four games, they, um, they split that, and then they lose here. They have a two and four homestand. Two and four against a Cubs team that's not gonna be a postseason team, and a Mariners team that is underperforming. That's that's not great, not great. And then they're going to Coors Field. Who the heck knows what's going to happen there? So post-game reaction after the game, and then I'll do my show after that. See you then.